Hi everybody, it's Abu Piggott, your chiropractic personal trainer, and today I want to share with you exercises to rehab your shoulder. About a month ago, as some of you may know, I had surgery on my shoulder for my rotator cuff tear, and I've learned a bunch of exercises and I want to share them with you. Okay, so some of the activities that you should be doing should be easily obtained in your house. So what you should be having is a table about hip height. In this case, I'm using my workout bench to elevate it to that level. And with my non-involved arm, I'm supporting it and leaning over with my involved arm dangling in front of me. And what I want to do is not move my arm per se, but move my body, swaying it side to side for a few seconds and then swaying forward and backward to create a pendulum-like motion to elongate the tendon that was torn and now repaired. And I don't want to put any weight on this. I'm not trying to move my arm. I'm just trying to move my body and allow my arm to swing naturally by my side to facilitate more range of motion and also to condition that tendon to start being more weight-bearing. Okay, so you would do maybe a few seconds of each one of these and then come up and then rest and then if need be you can grab your wrist with your um, non-involved hand and facilitate range of motion in the forward plane that mimics the action of the muscle that got repaired. And again, you want to do it gently. If you can't do it with your own power, then use your supporting hand to facilitate that. And if you have a cane or a long object or a broom of any sort, such as this, I'm going to have a... a so with my non-involved hand, an underhand grip, and my other hand on the curve, I'm going to facilitate external rotation around my shoulder. And the goal is to get it past 90. As you see my elbow slightly from my torso, because in reality we stand with our arms like this, not like this. So when we're doing this rehab, particularly this move, I want to have my elbow outside of my, to my torso. You can wrap up a towel and put it in here, but um, I'm not really using a towel. And again, it's moving it to uh, tolerance, no jerky actions. We're not trying to have pain. We're just focusing on relaxation. So those are three simple basic activities, whether you have shoulder pain or not, that you should be doing to help minimize your risk for injuries there. It's another health tip from Next Level. I hope you find value. I'll see you next time. Thank you.